Hello everyone, as I was about to post my last video about amazing Starship SN8 feat of reaching 12.5 kilometers and almost landing, the major news broke out that Starship SN9 experienced a massive setback. A friend of mine melodramatically explained to me that Starship SN9 toppled and there won't be a Starship SN9 test, at least not this year. After checking news online and our friends at NASA Space Live, I came to a predictable conclusion. Not a biggie. Yes, Starship SN9 was leaning against the wall of high bay assembly building. Not ideal situation. But I conclude that as I imagine many of us also did, things will be okay. No need to panic just yet. So what happened? From what I understand, um, the empty shell of Starship, which weighs some 70 tons, almost the same weight as fully loaded A320 airliner, was a tad too heavy for a stand on which Starship stood, and few jacks on which Starship stood gave way. Well, one side gave way, and massive vehicle slammed into the high bay, listing some 10 to 12 degrees, damaging upper cone and canard wings, as well as bottom winglets. Damage is extensive, and yes, these parts will need to be replaced before any test can take place. Funny enough, Starship has all three wrapped engines already installed, which might be a reason why Stan or Jax gave way. Normally empty shell of Starship weighs some 58 tons, adding three engines with engine thrust pack very heavy bit of Starship that on its own weighs around 5 tons, adding 3 Raptor rocket engines and weight goes up dramatically to 10 tons, and housing and whole thing brings the whole weight of Starship to over 70 tons. Starship stand on which Starship was being assembled, or practice of placing jacks between the stand and the Starship, is insufficiently strong, could be very dangerous as you rely on gravity to keep the Starship in its place. A lack of proper stand and support in high bay has become evident. You can't place 70 or 80 ton rocket on 5-6 jacks and hope all will work out just fine. SpaceX needs to be more careful with this stuff. A proper stand must be built, one that can support weighs up to 300 tons or more, not just 70 and restrainers put in place to ensure the whole thing is more stable and firm so such mistakes can be avoided in future. The fact High Bay Building was able to hold a 70 ton rocket in place and walls didn't give way is impressive, shows the quality of work done to High Bay. On Sunday, thankfully SpaceX was able to correct a Starship Place new jacks underneath. Very likely Starship will be now disassembled. Well, cone and two canard wings removed, replaced by new parts. This process will take several days. I presume all this can be done by Friday, with Starship SN9 being moved to the test pad either on Saturday or Sunday at the earliest. I am guessing here, as it all depends how fast repairs to the Starship can be completed. If SpaceX staff can replace the cone and winglets and canard wings fast enough, in ideal situation we could see Starship SN9 on a launch pad by 22nd of December. But if we are more realistic on a boxing day or just after, Starship SN9 launch is more likely. That will be either 27th or 28th of December, launch for the Starship, which means SpaceX will perform another test before this year is out. What can we expect to happen with the Starship SN9 test? Well, I'm pretty certain Starship will repeat the same test Starship SN8 performed on the 9th. There might be a change to altitude. SpaceX might try 15 km altitude and definitely will try to land the Starship this time. The thing I'm not certain is, have SpaceX already inserted design changes into Starship SN9 knowing Starship SN8 design wasn't going to land? 
or there is little chance of landing. Knowing all this, have they implemented design changes as they were assembling Starship SN9? If so, Starship SN9 tests will only confirm what they already knew and landing the monster rocket won't end up in the same outcome as its predecessor. However, all this depends on structural strength of the Starship SN9. If damage to the overall structure from recent mishap was too great, then we can forget any Starship SN9 test this year. There is a chance, however, Starship SN10 could perform second test, the assembly of which can be completed in a matter of few days. Starship SN10 could theoretically perform a second Starship test on the 29th of December. This is if Starship SN10 is assembled this week, with Starship SN10 starting to roll out to launch pad by December 27th and performing static tests on the 28th. Then, and only then, second Starship flight test could theoretically be executed on the 29th, all being well. We'll have to see how things develop with the Starship SN9 in coming days, but SN10 is waiting in the wings. I wouldn't be surprised if SpaceX forgoes Starship SN9, not willing to risk if there's any structural damage to the Starship internal frame. Anyway you look at it, SpaceX could still perform second Starship test this year. What happens to Starship SN9 if Starship SN10 is used for this test instead? Well, quite likely Starship SN9 will be used for tests in January, after extensive repairs are complete. SpaceX needs to perform at least 20 flight tests with Starship in 2021. It will be a grueling year for SpaceX and Starship. In fact, SpaceX will need to complete Starship's SN11 and SN12 really fast if they wish to maintain flight test schedule of nearly two flight tests monthly from mid-April. To remind you all, irrespective of Biden's administration, NASA funding for Artemis program is in place, at least the testing phase of the program. NASA has given partial funding for Luna Starship, SpaceX is developing for NASA, an orbital refueling demonstration in first half of 2022. SpaceX's work in towards for NASA will be instrumental. All these require a number of flight tests, including orbital tests, which could happen as early as October this year. For this, SpaceX will need to complete several super heavy boosters, first being completed as we speak, with work on second about to commence early in the new year. For any orbital flight test, SpaceX needs at least three super heavy boosters. They'll need to be completed by middle of this year, at the latest, for SpaceX to have time to test these systems before they start mounting Starships on top of them. Work on new launch pad which can support super heavy and mount Starships on top should also be constructed soon at Boca Chica site. All this lies ahead for SpaceX and Starship program in coming months. Well, first half of 2021. As I said in my previous video, Starship SN15 will be the first Starship SpaceX plans to use fully and commercially. Work on Starship SN15 will start when all the testing is done with Starship SN9 and SN10. All the initial bit of Starship SN15 have already been completed. Working on a number of great videos, all related to space, space exploration, planetary habitability, mass extinction on Earth, and not forgetting SpaceX plans, I'll try not to waddle in this video. Suffice to say, I'm back. I'll be making loads of videos from now on, and if you liked any of my videos, please press like, consider subscribing, and please share my videos on other social media platforms. Also, join our Facebook group, and consider following me on Twitter. Links in the description. Thank you for watching and stay safe.